Yo, how are we doing everybody? So today I've decided to make a different guide than my normal ones. This one is about gaining JP for your job so that you can unlock all of your abilities. Now, for me, I think the easiest way to do this, like starting off at uh, lower levels, is this beach here right at the beginning of the game. Uh, what you want to do is you want to use a monster tree. You might not have these right away, so you can still fight multiple enemies. Yeah, that's the thing. If you can fight multiple enemies at the same time, you gain more JP. So you definitely want to do that. Gather as many monsters as you can, and then uh, go ahead and attack, and they'll link together. Um, the reach for them linking together is actually quite small. Like, I was trying to go for all three there, but it looks like I only got two. So yeah, that can be a little bit frustrating, but yeah, if you're fighting against these lower level enemies, you can basically just uh, hold the A button down, yeah? Like, you just turn the battle speed up to 4, as long as you have everyone on attack, you can just hold the A button down, and you will be able to defeat all the enemies very quickly. When it does a transition, you actually have to let go of the A button again, and then you can uh, press it. So if you're literally trying to be as fast as possible, you just let go, and then you hold it down again. Like, you don't have to press the A button two times there, you just press it to one. And every time you go through a different wave, you're getting an increase to your JP multiplier. So yeah, right there we had, uh, I think that was five waves there? And that is going to give us times two the JP, and we had a lot of monsters in that one. So we got 376 JP, that was really, really good. Like, um, I normally don't get that many monsters when I go for it, unfortunately. Yeah, like, let's go ahead and fight just this guy so you can see. And yeah, it's completely random, unfortunately. You can't control how many encounters that you have. Obviously, the more monsters that are in the fights, the more encounters that you have, the bigger amount of JP you'll get and the bigger the JP multiplier will be. Like, if you only do the one encounter, it'll be one, and then, yeah, right there you can see it's times 1.1, but we only got 99 JP that time. So, unfortunately, this is exceptionally random on how much uh, bonus JP you're gonna get. The more monsters you can gather, the easier it'll be, but unfortunately it can be really, really difficult to gather monsters together. They'll only follow you for so long when you're trying to lead them uh, in a direction. Like, you can lead them very, very far, but you'll continuously have to regain their attention. And if you don't regain their attention, they'll walk all the way back to their original spawn point. But there is a second way you can go about this. If you're slightly higher level, you can actually fight Lin and Sith up here. I have a guide for fighting Lin and Sith. If you need any help, if you're having some trouble taking her on, then definitely check this out, because the only way this is really beneficial is if you're doing the fight quickly. Um, right here, I was showing that I was using physical attack earlier, but that's not really viable here. This is really a fight you only want to go for if you're trying to gain JP once you're higher level and you can go through the fight faster. You want to set up your attack so that you can hold the A button down, make sure that you have it set in the settings and it memorizes which ability you use last, because it'll just make things faster. Yeah, once you have those abilities set, you can just hold the A button down just like before, but you can do things that are more powerful than just the basic attack. It is very important that you can't be affected by charm. There's a few different ways to do this. Uh, currently, I'm using an ability from a bit further in the game. That allows me to just be completely immune to it. Um, just having high HP and high equipment also makes things just a little bit faster. And I find it makes uh, gaining JP more consistent. Like right here, you can see I only gained 210 JP from doing the fight with Lin and Sith. But obviously, this is more consistent compared to fighting the Sahagin on the beach. Because, like, the Sahagin, the lands, and all those enemies, um, trying to group them together can be pretty annoying. 
and also the fact that sometimes you'll even go out of your way to group two or three encounters together, but then you don't actually get multiple encounters, so you don't get the JP multiplier that you're looking for. That can be a little aggravating, it can be really slow if you're unlucky, um, but either way works. I just, uh, I don't really suggest one over the other. I personally like the one on the beach a little bit more, but they both work. But uh, either way, that's going to be me. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, please let me know by leaving a like. And then also, if you have any JP strategies, ways to gain JP very quickly, especially early game in Chapter 1, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, that's going to be me. Peace.